Sailors at Fleet Activity Sasebo joined with the Japan Ground Self-Defense Force and Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force to run anti-terrorism drills during their annual Garden Protect exercise. When we go to a heightened threat condition, when something does happen, uh, there are immediate allies that they can give us direct support uh, to help us sustain the mission uh, and protect our assets here in Sasebo. It's really a big benefit to me to see how our, our guys can train and increase our knowledge. I like these drills because it gets us out of a normal law enforcement mindset, more than just pulling over cars or writing tickets, it gets us thinking anti-terrorism. Security personnel had to work with other commands around the base to solve unusual situations. We had a uh, hostage situation take place, uh, an individual was basically upset, and which, which can happen, so he, he wanted, wanted some answers, wanted some help, and uh, he decided to take some lives instead. Instead, we were able to uh, take care of the situation, and that's what we train for, we work hard for, we all work together for to bring this all together uh, at a safe and peaceful uh, evolution. The team solved the problem and rescued the hostage, and the medical team responded to show that these sailors are ready for these scenarios. We have a great staff, a great training staff that wants to sit there and learn and teach and get out there, as well as our security people are willing to respond and show they do their job every day. Chief Petty Officer Andrew Jansta was satisfied with the performance of his teams during the exercise. I love it. This was my second exercise here. There's always some things that we can do better, but I love being on the training side of it and seeing what happens um, from a distance. While the subjects in these drills were members of the CFAS community, security forces around the base are now ready to respond if faced with the real thing. Seaman Andrew Frisbee, Fleet Activities Sasebo, Japan.